Hi, my little cuties. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Me too. Me and Mr. Dorbor just fine. Well, it's New Year's Eve, Mr. Dorbor. Do you know what that means? At midnight, it'll be a new year, 2022. How about that? Another holiday for us to celebrate. Then the year starts all over again. Then we'll have winter time, getting done, Valentine's Day, then Easter, then Mother's Day, and then summertime, and then Father's Day, and Fourth of July, and what else? Then Labor Day, which is the end of summer, and then it starts all over again to how back to Halloween, and then Thanksgiving and Christmas, and on it goes, and on and on it goes. <laughs> That's the way the world circles. But anyway, would you like to hear a fun story tonight? It's about two brothers. Two brothers. Poor Mr. Dorval's all alone. He doesn't have any brothers. But he's got the kittens. And that's where he's going to go. Mr. Sweetie. Do -do 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 -do. Okay there, Mr. Dorval. Mr. Cutie. I just love him. Before we get started, I gotta go run down my list of buddies that their moms have sent in their names to at the bottoms in the comments. Send me your child's name and I'll say hi, but your name doesn't have to be on there because I'm still glad you're here. But meanwhile, I will say hi to Lainey and Nicole and Addison and Chloe and Izzy and Abby, Katana and Ari and Anthony and Justin and Bella and Skylar and Lukey and Sophia. Gemma and Sammy and Reese, Max, Brianna, Giada, and Jackson and Xavier and Grayson and Paisley, Joey, Odessa, Johnny and Marley, Charlotte and Landon and Annie and Kimber, Jacob, Peter, Timmy, Lily, Otto, Livy, Gigi and Jordan, Mikey and Susan, Sarah and Andrew, Dylan, Dakota, Amanda, and Emmy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Listen, if I didn't say your name, I'm so glad you're here Because when you want to hear a story, you come see me Because that's what I do I read to you That's right That's what I do That's what I love best Reading stories to my little buddies Okay, this great story, by the way, is called Rolly Polly It's by a lady named Mem Box. And I guess uh, these pictures are from Jane Dr Drain Dyer. But anyway, here's Rolly Pulley. Look at him. Little Rolly Pulley Bear. Isn't he cute? Yeah, new baby bear cub has arrived in his den and he is not happy about it. Well, let's get started. I'm going to show you every single picture because I just love these pictures in this book. Okay. Mm. I get fixed in my chair. I was falling off, falling off my chair. <laughs> okay, my little friends. Once upon a time, way up near the top of the world, there lived a polar bear named Roly Poly. He had a father and a mother, but no sister and no brother. And there they are. Just the three of them. Mama, Papa, and Baby Roly Poly. Just the three of them together. They're all ice skating. Oh, and here he is in his room. The bed he slept in was his bed, and his alone. And there's his bed. And there he is, like, laying in his bed. I don't hold these books too good, do I? There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. There's his room. That's a cute room for a little baby bear, huh? I like it very much. Okay, the fish he caught were his fish and his alone. The walrus tooth he played with, played with was his walrus tooth and his alone. Life was grand. And there he is, playing with his walrus tooth. And it was just his. He didn't have to share his stuff with anybody. That's how he got used to it. That's how he liked it. Oh, one morning, Roly Poly found a perfect stranger in his bed. Who is that? He asked. Look at that. He wakes up and he finds this little, little guy in his bed. Who is that? He said. It's a little brother, 
said his father. And there's his mom and dad. They come to tell him about, look, it's a little baby brother. Look at that baby. We love babies, don't we? Yes, we do. Little babies are so cute. His name is Monty. What a cute name for a baby polar bear. A little brother, says Rolly Polly. I never asked for a little brother, and I don't want one now. He's mad. He sure is mad. Rolly, I know, said his mother, but we think that you will adore him. Roy Pulley put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear because he was mad. Look at him. He's so mad. He's used to being the only one. He doesn't want to share his things and his mom and dad and his bed. Monty tumbled all over him. Hey, don't do that, said Roly. I never asked for a little brother and I don't want one now. Look what this little Monty's teasing him, rolling over him. And he says, I don't want one now. I don't want a brother. I never asked for you and I don't want one now. He stood up, he stood up and he stormed off. He was mad. Later, Monty sat on him. Hey, said Rolly, don't do that. I never asked for a little brother and I don't want one now. He stood up and stormed off again. And there's his brother sitting on him. <laughs> I'm coming too, said Monty. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear. A little later, Roly Poly caught a fish. He's ice fishing. And there he is. He caught a fish down there. See, you see that fish? Yeah, isn't that cute? He was just about to eat that fish when Monty grabbed it from him. You sure he's mad about that? I'll bet he is. Hey, said Rolly Polly, don't do that. I never asked for a little brother and I don't want one now. He stormed off again clutching the walrus tooth close to his chest. I'm coming too, said Monty. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear. <laughs> He's going to have to get used to that little brother, because he sure is a cutie. Monty crept up behind Roly Poly and snatched the walrus tooth right out of his paws. Get lost, said Roly Poly. Get lost right now. At precisely that moment, the ice beneath Monty started to groan and crack. Look what's happening. The ice is starting to crack. Poor little baby. I hope he's going to be okay. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh, don't want to miss a page of this. Crack and crumble and broken too. Monty began to drift away. Oh, baby. Look at that. He's drifting away because the ice is broken. And now he's going out to sea. Rolly Polly put his nose in the air and pretended not to notice. Rolly. The gap in the ice grew wider and wider. Help, said Monty. Help. But Rolly Polly pretended not to hear. Look. Poor little baby must be so scared. Help, said Monty. Look how far out, out he is now. <laughs> At that point, Roly Poly couldn't watch any longer. Don't cry, Monty. Please don't cry. I'm on my way. And he leapt into the icy sea. He could him. He jumped right into that icy water to help his baby brother. From that day onward, believe it or not, in spite of everything, Roly Poly and his little brother lived happily ever after. Well, mostly because baby brothers still like to tease. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful that he saved his little brother? Oh, boy. 
And that's the story of Roly Poly, who didn't want a brother when he had him. And when he almost lost him, then he swam out to sea to save him and bring him home. Because it turned out he really did like having a little brother. And I guess we all have times where we like being the only one. You like to be the only kid. And if you have brothers and sisters, you know, you have to share your toys. You have to share your mom. You have to share your dad. You know, sometimes you get kind of like, hmm. But if you didn't have them, you would be very lonely. Yes, so that's what Roly Poly did. He took care of his baby brother. So good for him. Now I like hearing stuff like that. You know, families have to watch out for each other. And I know that you would watch out for your family. You know, and even if you don't have a brother or sister, you have a cousin or you have a mom, dad, grandma, or even your pet. We all have to take care of each other. And that's something we should think about going into the new year. Let's all just get together and take care of each other. It just makes the journey so much nicer. I think it does. That's right. So, good old Wooly Pulley. I'm proud of him. And I'm proud of you. Because you are, you are good kids. You know that? Really good kids. I love you so much. And I'll be seeing you again soon in the next year. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Only one, one more sleep and it'll be the new year. 2022. So I say Happy New Year. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in one more day. And it'll be a new year, 2022. Get good sleep. Because you've got a busy year coming up. That's right. Moms, remember what I always say. Like and subscribe and share my videos. So that more kids can watch them. And I appreciate your support. But if you don't, it's okay. Come and watch my stories anyway. I love reading to you. Because when you want to hear a story, you come see me. Because that's what I do. I read to you. I love you. Have good sleep, sweet dreams, and happy new year, my little sweeties. I love you, and I will see you soon. Here's another big kiss. Mwah, there's a kiss to 2021. See you later. Welcome 2022. I love you. Good night. Bye-bye.